Java Junkies. I'm your host, Scotty B, and today we're talking about Bones Coffee Co. Kenya. So again, Bones kind of specializes in flavored coffees usually. They, uh, they have a lot of flavors for the holidays, flavors for every season, and then they have your standard flavors they have year-round and uh, always coming out with new stuff. But we are trying their single origin line. We tried their Sumatra and now we're trying their Kenya. They don't have a lot of information on this specific region and or like farm and that's kind of going above and beyond but I do like that information. Uh, but we have single origin coffee, small batch, medium roast, Kenya. Now this is a medium roast so I'll probably like it a little more than the Sumatra which was a dark roast. I tend to like lighter coffees uh, so let's see what we get. You can find these coffees at BonesCoffee.com and I'll link their uh, website in the description. But be sure to check them out and it takes a little longer to get to you because they do roast it uh, per order, I believe. Alright, let's get a whiff. Mm. Very interesting. I'm getting a caramel kind of a popcorn, like not a buttery popcorn, but uh, like if you just had plain popcorn. I'm also getting a uh, bread, uh, almost like pretzel bread, like fresh made pretzels. Um, not like overcooked pretzels like I usually get from coffee. This is uh, like fresh bread. Also get kind of sourdough, also a stale, like a stale bread as well. Very pretty. Alright, it's fresh to the ground and let's see how it opens up. Wow, it uh, drastically changes the uh, scent here. It's not like, uh, you know, a lot of them, they'll, they'll smell a certain way of the beans and then they, they, it'll smell a more intense variety of what you just smelled. Sometimes it uh, drastically changes, like this one. I'm getting uh, some chocolate, some cayenne pepper. Very salty. Getting fruits too, like a fig. Yeah, very much like a fig, like uh, and that bready quality, like uh, fig Newton. Yeah, that fig really takes over. A pleasant scent, though. Now I'm getting like a a vegetable soup. When it sits a while, I'm <laughs> I'm starting to get. Uh, there was this restaurant and hotel chain in uh, McPherson, Kansas, where I grew up, and it was called the Red Coach, and it smells like the Red Coach used to smell. Just that variety of cooked foods and old carpet and walls. Definitely smells like the Red Coach. All right, we've heated our fellow EKG gooseneck up to 205 Fahrenheit, and uh, everything is wetted and prepared and warmed. So uh, here we go with four tablespoons of the Kenya. All right, let's bloom it a little bit. Wells up nicely. Ah, that brew stink. I'm getting cooked carrots right off the bloom. A little meaty too. And uh, seasoned cooked potatoes. Yeah, very much like uh, well-seasoned and salted cooked carrots and potatoes and old
old wood. There's a hint of something else. Butter. Cola. And uh, fudge. Doing the brew dance. I'm getting a very specific skating rink, the smell of the ice, and a hot dog stand, like at a concession stand at a skating rink or bowling alley, because it kind of smells like a bowling alley stands the cigar smoke. Very much like a roller skating rink or skating rink though, like the smell of the floors. Now, with the power of the 60 pour over, we have achieved Bones Coffee Co. Kenya Medium Roast. Let's get a whiff. Huh. That brew smell is still on there. A little unusual. Uh, it still smells like cooked carrots. Kind of briny, seasoned, a little cayenne pepper. Actually, more like black pepper. You can see the oils on the surface. It's nice and oily. Getting a little bit of chocolate. And a brown sugar. Maybe a hint of cinnamon. Let's see how it uh, tastes. Wow. The nose really prepares you for the taste. In an unusual way, it's uh, it tastes like cooked carrots. Cooked carrots in a sort of caramel sauce heated in a crock pot. Got that old wood. Very dry and like soil on the finish. There's some milk chocolate. Ooh, there's some cinnamon. And it's got that cream you'd get inside a, a filled donut, the uh, pudding stuff, not the Bavarian cream, not the whip. Ooh, now, now it tastes like a jelly donut. I'm getting some jelly in there. Very much so. Brown sugar's really coming through. <clears throat> it's a really complex cup of coffee. A lot of flavors in there. It's uh, extremely pleasant. I like it way better than the Sumatra Dark Roast from Bones, but uh, that's because I like lighter coffee, so. I just assumed I would like this one a little better. Now I uh, I made the mistake of putting all my stuff away. I was kind of in a hurry and uh, it's actually changed quite a bit uh, since I let it cool down a bit. It's uh, very much now a cranberry note, like a very strong cranberry note on the smell. And even cranberry on the taste.
It's got that dry cranberryness. Overall, another great cup. I definitely recommend Bones, uh, Bones Coffee Co. at BonesCoffee.com. I'll link down below. That's it for Java Junkies. Join us next week. Like, share, and subscribe.